Okay, getting right back into this. Yep. Uh, I, Time for questions. I was going to do my intro, but that's the wrong one. Hold on. Oh, where the f Here it is. Okay, questions. So, wait. Does that mean that the wrestlers fight on the same platform as the singles and the duos? Yes. Yeah. I'm so sorry that this is, this is like, not like you're we, getting hung up on no, it. No, we, we, like, we made it, we accidentally made it more confusing than it is. Like, as we've said before, and I'll say it again very quickly, they just borrow the ideas and tropes and things that you see in wrestling. They are not wrestlers, they're just battlers. Yeah. They just, they, the they, they talk and look like wrestlers, but they're just battlers. They're just battlers. Yes. Which I think is what we should leave it at to prevent yes. any more confusion. Yeah, no, I'm so sorry yeah. you're getting hung up on that. I'm no. so fucking sorry. But yeah, they're just they're just battlers. Yes, they're just battlers. This is bothering me. Hold on, I'm gonna fix what's, this. What's bothering you? Is it like slightly too? It's like, well, it's like in here. Hold on, that's like slightly better. That's slightly be that's slightly better. <laughs> it's like sa it's like off center, but like the entirety of my booster row is like dead. Yes. Okay. All right, so then we're okay with multiples in certain legendary Pokemon. What about multiple shinies? No, you can have as many as you want, as we talked about before in the other video. You can have as many as you want as long as it's not, like, crazy. Yeah. Like, just exercise, restraint, you know, think about it. Yes. Whatever you want. Uh, legendary shiny is kind of a weird one that I haven't really thought about. What, what, what say you? Um, no, we've talked about legendary Pokemon. We, we, we no, le the... no legendary shinies. Legend, mm, sure. If it's if it's, um, if it, I guess if it's one of the species that we like outline as like being okay. being okay, yeah, it's then, fine. Like, Who cares? Yeah, no. Nah. I mean, I guess, I guess we should, we could just like, I mean, not that we're all crazy about making legendaries, but I'd say like, I mean, don't have like multiple, I guess. Yeah, the, I feel like those would be rare enough that like they wouldn't really come up that much. Yeah, no. Because they're they those are like at least like rare species to begin with. Because most of the other species that we have are not really rare. No. But those are rare species in the first place. So to have a rare something of a rare thing, like maybe one, maybe. Yeah. I I definitely wouldn't do more than than one. No, no, I think that that would be fine. Uh, just one though. Yeah. Um, and then for next one, uh, OC number limits, uh, booster is full. Nobody, no more like, characters in that. The thing is like booster is full for like the reason that like it's, it's supposed to be kind of like limited on, on a limited scale. Yeah. Because, uh, I guess we never, I never mentioned this, but, um, uh, part of, uh, Part of uh, Ignatius's uh, backstory, and what also doesn't help the rivalry, is that uh, I think I stated at one point that he uh, very much tried to get into Booster, but wasn't allowed to be. Seriously, you yeah. never told me that. I mentioned it in one of them. You never told yes, me that. Yes, I did. I, that's news to I me. I did. Like he would because I know in like a previous uh, in one of the test things that we did, he mentioned that he was he was. Uh, all for it was one of the earlier ones even like he was all for trinity because uh booster snuffed boost, him bo booster booster snuffed him and they they picked uh they they, pi they, they picked they picked over him yes. so like clearly they didn't know what they were talking about no i definitely that definitely was part of his wow uh, backstory. deep lore okay so like the thing is, is that like like it's Again, it's kind of limited in thing, and Trinity can just, like, they let, like, honestly, they let any old schmuck in. As for Trinity, like, as many OCs as you can handle, honestly. Yeah. Like, whatever you think is your limit is your limit. And if you think that you don't have a limit, then... Then fucking sky's the limit, then. Sky's like, the limit. Sky's just, the limit. Just keep going Do whatever nuts. you want, honestly. There's no limit. So, yeah, there's 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 no there's no OC limit. No. Um, I guess the only real limit is... is uh, teachers because eventually we're gonna run out of slots to fill yeah no we'll talk about teachers in a second but basically um we'll we'll do that in the remarks part of yeah, the yeah, video yeah. yeah so we'll talk about that later yeah okay. we'll, we'll burn this is such a good today. fucking question this is such a good fucking question okay so um yes how does healing work in our verse we have moves potions whatever um so um the way that i picture it is that like you can heal things that are not like bodily injuries like like then again okay no you can't heal broken bones with a heal pulse or a potion or anything you can't do that that, no. that that's not a thing 
what what you can do is like alleviate pain, alleviate inflammation. Yeah, but basically, like, basically, like any anything that like like regular like medicine, you can just like buy at like a pharmacy. Like anything that that can do, like again, like like I said, alleviate pain, like like stop very minor things. Yeah, like, like just like minor medicine, like again, like uh. The heel pulse is, uh, you shoot, uh, um, how do you call the, uh... Ibuprofen. Yeah, you, you, sh you just, you just, like, like, send ibuprofen and, like, Pepto-Bismol out of your hands. Yeah, no, like, Laurel is a very strong woman. We've established this in inverse. She's, she's, she's exceptionally talented. But, like, she can't heal broken bones with her heel pulse. She can do a lot. It can do... It can, it, it's very again, good, again, that, but... Again, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, like basically, like, if, if store-bought, like, medicine, like, real-world store-bought medicine can, like, solve it easily, like, you don't need a prescription for it. Like, you can just go into a store, you can just buy it. If that can... If, if it can heal... Can, it can, like, be healed or alleviated by that, uh, heel pulse can just do that. Yeah. It's, Obviously, it's, it's there's... All, it's, it's all of those... Uh, and depending on how strong you are, you might be able to do a little bit more than that. Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit less, always depends. But I feel like broken bones is kind of like that's too that's too that's that's far. kind of like that's kind of the ceiling. Like, yeah, I guess if you're if you're like if that's like your thing, if you're like exceptionally good at it. Yeah, no, because like not not but to, you'd have yeah. to be like like a dedicated like healer. healer. Like that's what you fucking do. That's what you do. Yeah. Can Sylveon learn heal pulse? It might, but I'm going to look it up. No, because the health teacher is a Sylveon, and I was wondering, maybe he could be one of those people because he's also a doctor? That's true. Like, maybe he could be the one person that does that. Because I'm trying to think of, like, an which, example. Which makes me wonder if, uh, does he double as the, uh, school nurse then? I think he does. I think that sounds correct. Okay. And if not, he should. <laughs> oh! Um, remarks. I'm going to get to Aureus later. I'm gonna get to him because yeah. I remember. Yeah, I forgot about his backstory, which is why I was like, like completely like you're talking to me like I was brain dead, like or rather I was acting like I was brain dead while you were talking to me. Uh, Sylvian does not seem to be able to. Why not? I... It totally should be able to do that. I do not know. Uh, none of the evolutions have access to heal pulse. That is so. Weird. Heal pulse is a very limited move. Not a lot of things get it. If you gave him that, I would. <laughs> yeah i mean it has uh it does have access to wish which gives other people like yeah no because because it, 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 it's it's a move that has the potential to heal other people so yeah. i mean like if you if you would like stretch that into being able to heal other people i mean we've used synthesis to do that before infamously and that's and that's not even a th like a move that should be able to do that yeah no so it doesn't Whatever, yeah. But stuff that, like, can specifically, like, heal other people. Like, like, uh, Wish is kind of a, a, a weird one in that, like, like in, in the games it involves switching out to heal. But it heals other people. So that one, I would, I would, uh, consider that one okay. Yeah. Same thing with, uh, Milk Drink and Soft Boiled, which can heal people outside of battle. Yes. Uh, in the games, like, you can, you can use those moves, like, like you would any HM move. Uh, to heal other members of your party. So those can also just be used to heal other people, yes. definitely. So that's how that works. Um, so yeah, no. Um, so yeah, no. Because like, like, like you said, like we did use synthesis, but I don't know if I would necessarily like make that a rule or because I feel like that one was kind of an exception when we did that. No, in, but but I always think back to that. Because that was a different story also. So I like. always think back to that as like it's just if it's a healing move and it's like you have a good enough excuse for why they can do that, then it's fine. Yeah. But there are like if you have access to better moves, obviously use yeah, those. Yeah, but it's like it's like the purely like self healing ones, like I don't think like because then like like, we managed to swing that one, but there's a lot of ones, like, Recover, 
And no, I wouldn't say Recover would do that. No, that's different. No, like, Recover and Bruce, and, like, there's a, bu- there's a bunch of them that, like, they wouldn't really make sense. No, 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 because I discount those. But, like, yeah, and I wish I would count, obviously. But, again, because, like, again, I guess I guess the, the rule of thumb is if it can heal some other Pokemon... Even un- if it's gimmicky. Under, under any sort of other circumstance, like, no matter what the circumstances, as long as it can heal another Pokemon, it's fair game to be, like... Like a clerical move. Yeah. As we would call them. Yeah. Uh, where would that leave stuff like aromatherapy and heal bell? It's I guess that would that would mainly help with like Again, like minor like I feel like that would be like a lower tier of healing. I feel like that that's more like uh it it I it that's more I guess that's more like the uh I guess that's, I would say those are like symptom suppressant and heal pulse and moves of its ilk are like, like pain relievers. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, no, that does make perfect sense. I, I get what you're trying to like, say. Like, say, like, for example, like, if you have a really bad, like, let's say you have a really bad, like, cold. Uh, if somebody, somebody with aromatherapy or heal bell could potentially make it so your nose isn't runny anymore. But if you have, like, a really bad sinus headache from it, and that's causing you, like, actual pain, that wouldn't go away from that. No, but you you would need Heal Pulse or Wish or something. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, that, that's a good example. So, like, that's... Like, it, it takes... It, it would take away the symptoms, but not, like, the, the pain necessarily. Or, like, if you got, like... If there's something that, like, gave you, like... A re- like if you had like a really bad rash or something like it would get rid of the itching but not of the rash itself yeah no 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 and so then like, that's, yeah this like i'm trying to think of other cases where that could apply but i think that's the way that i would handle that no and i think that's good i think that works uh that's fine i like no i like that um, it's again it like it suppresses the symptoms but it doesn't cure it and no. the other ones are specifically like curative moves it fits with what they do in the games anyway yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, next question, just, I don't mean to skip, five and six will do at the same time. Yeah. Uh, what items are applicable? Obviously not Pokeballs. Uh, TMs do exist. Yeah, basically, um, we've had, uh, TMs show up. Yes. In our things. Basically what they are is that they're basically just, uh, they're, they're effectively just DVDs. You pop into anything that can read DVDs and it's basically an instructional video on how, how, on how to do the move. And uh, some people can figure it out. Some people can't because, I mean, they literally are, like, physically unable to do certain things. Yes. But if, like, again, if you have eyes, you can learn uh, TM moves, basically. Yeah, basically. Which means that a Cecilia is unable to learn TMs. <laughs> I feel like, like, well, she's unable to follow the instructions from a video or, like v- like, look at the visuals, but she could still, like listen to it and like no that was a joke i know but i'm 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 again we're trying to take away like gray areas here okay yeah fair so like if you have a blind character like they could still listen to the instruction like they might have a tougher time learning them yeah but it'd they be could, more of a learning curve but they could still like listen to the instructions or even be like the thing with tm moves is that like you can just like you can also teach them to other people yeah if you, because again you you get instructions on how to do it if you memorize the instructions you can teach other people moves. Yes. Um, how do move tutor moves fit into all of this? Could they could they be classified as TMs as like a thing that you could buy, or would you need to literally learn it I, from someone? I think with those is that like, because like, TMs are like ones that are just like regularly like available. I think with like move tutor ones, like it's it's a little more complicated. Like you you generally have to like get like. Again, they're a move tutor move. Like, you have to get, like, you have to get tutored to be able to use them. Okay. So you, because, like, they're, they're, I guess they're, like, technically, like, too hard to figure out on your own. Yeah. You could, but generally speaking, you'd go to somebody who would know. Yeah. What they're doing with them to be able to learn it. That makes sense. Which, um, since, uh, I mean, this is going way back to the initial character's conception, um, uh, that's the reason why I made uh, Mew a Mew to begin with. 
It's because uh, in the original concept for having this like be a group that people could join and like do stuff, she was supposed to be able to use the, any MP- move. the NPC you'd go to to get new moves because she can use any move. Like that was her initial purpose. She was the move tutor slash. Uh, oh, that's really clever, actually. No, that was that was the whole reason I made her. That's really that. clever. So like. That's that's what I would say. Like, if it's a move, like, so we have we have a move tutor around. So if you want a move tutor move or want to learn one, like over the course of the story, like we have a character we can teach you. Yes. basically. because she like See, knows all the now moves. Now here's a qu- you now here's a problem. Uh, I have a lot of my characters who have move tutor moves, but I treat them as egg moves. Like they they well, learned like it. What? Like like uh, for example, let's see, has electro web. That's a move tutor move. Okay. Like, I don't know which one of her parents has it, but, like, I treated it as if something that she has always been able to use. That's fine. Or she could have just, like, learned it somewhere along the way. Like, it's, yeah. it's not like she has to, like, like, you always have to be like, oh, well, this specific person taught her. Yeah, like, okay, that's fair. Because now, because now I'm like, oh, I have to come up with excuses for it now? Okay, no, that's, that's no, no, fair. No, 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 it's, it's just, like, again, like... It's not a hard rule either. No, it's just, it's just something that's 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 there. But like over the course of or over the, if like over the course of the story, you want to get a new move. Yeah. General rule of thumb is that like if it's a TM move, you can just like probably go to like <clears throat> a, I, I guess a record store. Yeah. <laughs> they got repurposed to that. Yes. Or how look up a video on YouTube or pirate. You can pirate TMs. In no, this world. no, I was no because my first thought when you said they were DVDs, I'm like you can pirate them. Yeah, you can pirate them. You can pirate them. Um, uh, potions, rare candies, stat boosting items, miscellaneous. Yeah, sure. Um, I I like potions and stuff. Like basically, it's just it's it's what we talked about the healing moves. Yes. But like in in a can. In a can. Um, the vitamins like. I joked off screen that they're just steroids, but um, yeah, you can use those. It's basically to like, they're they're kind of a weird concept, but sure, they could exist. It's basically like um, vitamins in real life. Yeah, like vitamins in real life. Yeah, and uh, yeah, no, that that was it. Um, and uh, the miscellaneous stat boosting. I'm assuming she's talking about the X items. I don't know how the fuck they would. Well, no, 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 no. I guess. Well, I mean, it could be the X items or just like items like the sharp beak and like other. Oh, stuff oh, like that. um, this, those those sharp beaks and stuff they exist because Alyssa has a spell tag. Yeah, just like just like regular stat boosting. Yeah, no, 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 no. They exist. They exist. Definitely, yeah. absolutely. Um. Anyways, um. Uh, does Sylph make them? Uh, or slash they got absorbed into the booster. Yeah, um, Silphco and slash uh, booster nowadays. Uh, they make they make potions, super potions, hyper potions, any any regular item you can think of. They probably make. And okay. then everything else is to like the battle any, company. Any yeah. any medicinal item is all uh booster, and like she said, uh, every battle item battle related item is the uh, battle company yes yeah, so, so you are actually absolutely correct you, you are correct in that assumption yes you completely understood what we were talking about okay so number seven <laughs> oh there's here there's another fun one okay okay y- i'll let you answer this because I, I don't want to say yeah. anything wrong uh plot if you happen to be watching uh uh cover your ears this is not for your virgin ears to know yeah once we scroll to uh question eight uh i guess yes <laughs> yes um, am I allowed to know the extent of how much Aramolo can manipulate events? Uh, I guess I'll just read the whole Like, he knows about me, they, they have to run him with the boat RP, and he broke his nose. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> what else is he aware of? Does he have a hand in what the plasma syndicate is doing? Alright. So, clearly you remember what I talked about last time. Um, on top of everything else... Because you know that Booster behind the scenes is kind of overseeing everything else. Um, Booster is led by... I really should come up with somebody who's like literally in charge of Booster. Unless it is... I don't think it is Saito. Because she's like... She's high up, but she's not at the top. It It is not her. Because basically, Booster has a figurehead of its own. Because the real 
person in charge of Booster. He's not officially connected to it on paper, but Aaron Malo is the one in charge of Booster. So he does know of literally everything. He's in charge of everything else. He he has a hand in all of these things. Yes. That is what he does. He can manipulate anything he wants because he's in charge of literally everything. That is a little, that is that, that that is both the long and the short answer. The answer is yes. Yes. <laughs> he yes. can and he uh, he probably will. Yes. So that's that's the long and the short answer. All right. So I guess uh, moving on to eight. We're gonna move on. Okay. Hello, plot. Hi, plot. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Does Kelly still have her flip phone? Will she upgrade? Her, uh, I never got to write out this scene, but at the end of the boat RP, I wanted her phone to break. Like, it fell into the ocean or something, something crazy. Um, she fell and it broke. Uh, she has a, a touch phone, like a touch screen phone, at the start of Trinity. She, she, uh, upgraded from having a flip phone to, like, one of those, uh... Like, those keyboard phones? Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. No, so, she's, so she still has an old phone, but yeah, it's Yeah, she, she definitely has a BlackBerry. Actually, I take that back. She has a BlackBerry. Uh, is counterf- <laughs> so she did upgrade, but not that much. Is Counterfeit on hiatus until Say gets out of school, or is her team dissolved as well? I think it's, they're just on hiatus. Yes. Te- I would say yeah, so. Yeah. They are, they are technically on hiatus, uh... If you ask Anantha, she might be in denial about this. Yeah, no, because uh, she, she's not taking it very well. No. Uh, mostly because that's her only in- source of income, so if the, if she can't be battling, she doesn't make any money, so... Yeah, no, um, but no, no, they're just not battling together no. and in the tor- a tournament upcoming because, say, they're in different age groups. Like, yeah. like he's just barely not in the correct yeah, age group. Yeah, basically, she's like, just again, I think we might have mentioned this before, but at the end of the story, we're gonna, like, lead into another another tournament where basically all the characters it's gonna be a boat rp but with the kids also yeah and basically all the characters that can battle or want to battle can participate in it but it's split into age groups of everyone below uh, like up to 21 and everybody like above 21 yes yeah, so so since 21 is the cutoff say and, and anantha cannot fight together they can't fight together so uh they they again doesn't mean that they can't ever fight again together ever again but yeah no, so they're least, definitely not breaking up I at don't least think. for that uh for that tournament they're not yes uh together either but that doesn't mean that they're permanently like not a thing anymore so i would say they are on hiatus yes they're definitely on hiatus they could very much get back together and do more fighting are the houses in trinity still divided based on preferences of going to battling scholar pursuits or the middle yes absolutely absolutely we've still, still been doing maintaining that, that the whole yes. time so i don't see why not so everybody who we have divided into the different houses uh again just going over some of our characters uh again uh going over some of mine uh for example uh i'll just do two per house uh, ignatius and mainly go to battling because they're all about battling that's uh, their thing uh, Arlene is about the smarts, uh, so she goes into, uh... Suicune, huh? Suicune. In fact, uh, Suicune is also kind of my doesn't really like battling house. Because Akira's in there, and, uh, um, Sabella. Sabella's in there. It's not that they're, like, all about the books, but it's like they don't battle. So also, Suicune is kind of where you go if you dislike battling? Yeah, and I think, uh, I think Raiko is, is, again, it's the middle ground for a reason. It's yeah. for, it's for people who, like... They'll feel strongly one way or another, yeah. or... Or at least, like, if they're, if they're not, like, I also go with characters there, if they don't have, like, a very strong motivation for either, but it's also for, like, if they, if they're, like, if they have an interest in both. So it's, yeah. it, it's kind of, it's kind of both, and... Ente is the only one that's, like, really straightforward, where, like, yeah. you like battling, you go to Ente. Yeah, exactly. So, for the other two houses, it's kind of... Because I don't think there's anybody in Ente that's, like, I don't care about learning at all. It's all about... No, because there's a couple knuckleheads in Ente, but there's nobody who's, like, I actually strictly think battling is more important than anything in the world, and I think academics are stupid. Like, it's not quite no, like that. No, there's, there's nobody who, who's, like, academics I think dumb. we need to rephrase the question. It's, like... It's like it's well no because the question is what do you value more and and but sometimes you just don't value battling but it's not like you don't care about both so like the question well, see, is kind well, of weird well no see like but the thing is to me that like if you if you value battling you value battling yeah if you value like academics then like you would go there yeah but also if you think that battling is like Pointless. a complete waste yeah. of time you would obviously value academics 
and the middle of the road is if you like both or you don't care about either. Yeah, exactly. So, so it, that's, still, yeah. it still makes perfect sense in my mind. Because the question is very subjective. It's meant to be very subjective, the way that you interpret yeah. it yourself. So, but I feel like, I feel like it's, it's fair enough in like the way it can be interpreted by the various characters. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. And so I gave all of the interpretations that my characters use. Yes. And as for me, it's basically like, uh, uh, misunderstood the question, misunderstood the question, battling is her life. She doesn't really care either way. Uh, he loves battling. Uh, well, well he, <laughs> hell, he loves battling and figured his uh, not-girlfriend would go there. And... Yes. Um, and then I'm just going to... I'm going on her. Uh, Lynn, uh, I don't think he cares either way. Keisha doesn't care either way. Uh, Kathar likes battling, but he's not good at it. So that's why he didn't go to Ente. Yeah. So he's kind of middle of the road. Uh, Susie dislikes battling. Uh, Seamus likes battling, but like he also... like He's in the middle. And he was kind of forced to pick whatever. Yeah, true. Uh, Parfait's all about battling. Uh, Parthenope uh, would rather just stay in her dorm than do anything. Yeah. And then Garnett is all about battling. Yeah, so like it, 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 it makes sense for, for yeah. the ones that we picked. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's still very much it's still very much the rule that we go with the whole time. Yeah, it, it, it's solid. It works. Oh, I forgot about question 11. Oh my god. Can I, I have a subplot for a crazy serial killer called the Shadow Hunter? Yes! <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're going to do with this, but sure. He has to hunt down Damon. <laughs> That's his next strike. Oh my god. Ever since he went on TV and revealed that he was uh, he was uh, shiny now, now there's this crazy serial killer after him. It's he would he would be like he would be like 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 one of those like I could see that like where like he'd be like really I mean, he or she, because she didn't specify. She didn't specify. She didn't right? specify. No. Would be really obsessed with him because, like, he's like a famous person. It's like, oh, and he didn't even know he was shiny. No, it's like, yeah, that would be like, it would be like my my magnum opus is to yes. fucking, it's to fucking kill this guy, fucking kill that guy. Yes. Like, hell yeah. Yes. But no, honestly, go for it. I go see for it. I want to see this. it. I want to see that. I need to see that in my life. Um, does Clover want kids of her own with Cedric? They wanted kids. Uh, something came up, and they were not able to do that. And and Clover is now working on her relationship with Cecilia because, because it's sufficiently bad that she doesn't. Yeah, want to, like... no, and and she because she wants a kid with 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 Cedric, not because she wants her own kid, but just because like you know why the hell not? But like she doesn't want Cecilia or uh, Callista and Cadence, who are the other two, to feel like they're being replaced. Especially not Cecilia, because she knows that... Like, Cecilia already, ha like, is on such shaky grounds with her that she'd, like... If she were to have a kid, like... Cecilia would be like, oh, you're just like all the other women. You're, you're oh, gonna okay. have... You're gonna dump a kid on my fucking father and you're gonna leave. Yeah. Like, oh, you're just beginning your plans now, are you? And then, like, yeah. So, so that's just... It would it would be a mess. Yeah. Uh, how old are Burgundy and Barrel's siblings? They're about the same age. I'm just combining the I think questions. I think they range... Like we said, they range from about like mid to or late twenties. Late twenties, like, like I think I said, sort of like somewhere from like seventeen to eighteen to like twenty eight. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, and then seven ages. I haven't figured out like exact ages, but they they range somewhere between. We those. wrote them down at one point, but I don't remember. I did, but that's so long that I don't remember. Uh, before. when did the fight between Candace and Ignatius take place? Over the, over this past summer. Over this past so summer. So it's new. It's fresh. It's, it's, it's over this summer, but after the, uh, the boat, boat RP. Yeah, it's after the boat RP. Which, I think that was, like, early summer. Mm -hmm. So that's, like, it's, like, late yeah, cause it took, Yeah, because they were on the boat to the tournament in early June. Yeah. Yeah, so that would be that. Uh, when did the fight between Candace and Ignatius, or, excuse me, uh, does Malik get along with Cecilia? Yes. Yes. They're very close. Uh, they have a, they have a very cute friendship. Uh, she's she's basically like a big sister slash mom to her and and Malia just kind of like, she she um. They surprisingly get along because like Malia's kind of like you know she's kind of sedentary and kind of lazy and like yeah. but but Cecilia makes her find it somewhere in her heart to go out and do shit and and, and be social, so, uh, to Sandrine mainly wrench advantage. She, she reads mostly anything, but I think she likes romance a lot, and she writes romance exclusively. I don't think she'd write anything else, but she'd read mostly anything. I think. Who does she share? She, she, she um, herself with I guess I don't know with somebody. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a loaded question. 
depending on who she ships herself with, she might like would would she would she write those like kind of fan fiction where she like where unfortunate things happen to the other parties involved? She's definitely that kind of person. <laughs> Is yes. she that kind of person? Yeah, she's okay. that kind of person. Yeah. Awesome. I'll leave it at that. Um are Nerium and Emanita's mom, who doesn't have a name, don't worry about it. Yeah, like, like this, this, this made us realize that we really should go around because you, you went out of your way to like. I name... named all my parents. I think you did? I did. I did. Yeah. I don't think you named all of your parents. I named. I named. Well, a I lot named of a lot of them, but I, I actually didn't name all but, of them. No, I'm talking. I was them. talking to Cherry for yeah. a second because she like seemingly she went out of the way to name literally every single parent, which is like fucking admirable. Jesus Christ. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Kudos to you, and this reminded us that uh, we really should do that also. Um, but to answer the question, uh, the answer is yes, because they're still neighbors, so they Yeah, still... no, they're, they're, they're besties. And Wendell was indeed more mute, yes. so just get that out of the way. Uh, did Kelly learn sign language so she could talk to Wendell, and if that's the case, my spirit is... <laughs> okay, fine, cat's out of the bag with that. Um, yes, Kelly did, and yes, they're endgame. Sorry. I mean, that was your decision to say that or not. <laughs> or not! No, it's a conspiracy theory. Gotcha. No, you just have to wait. Yes. Uh, I guess I will, I will say this. Um, uh, back when they, uh, at the very least, and this is a, this is a funny, funny event yes. that happened. Uh, at the very least, uh, when they were, uh, going their separate ways, or at least Kelly was, like, moving... Uh, what he was trying to tell her was that, uh, he did in fact like her. Yeah, he's, but, like, he's uh, like, I love you, and, But because, yeah. uh, her sign language isn't shitty. 100%. It's shit shitty, yeah. Uh, she... She didn't... Completely missed that part of his point, so... I love you. Yeah, I'm happy we're friends, too. <laughs> so she completely missed the memo on that one. Yes. And because they forgot to exchange numbers, See, uh... He never could, like, text her, like, by the way, I just told you that I liked you. I hope that you caught that. <laughs> I'm willing to be an LDR with you. No, um, I'm surprised you say that, though, because, I, cause, like, there was kind of an implied thing there, and, like, or at least, like, you could have read between the lines and seen that, and I thought you would be, like, through the roof, because I thought you would want, like, Kelly and Caster to be together, because they're endgame. So I was, like, I'm, I'm surprised to hear you say that. Though no, I'm surprised. Now, he's grinning. I'm surprised though. I thought you were gonna lose. <laughs> no, your, no, lose I'm, your shit. I'm grinning because she's just coming out and saying it. I was just, I just think it's funny. Or am I though? No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm being vague. I, I know, I, I wanted a gotcha. I wanted a gotcha. No, um. And now I'm just like leering at her. I'm like, yeah, of course you did. <laughs> no, cause like, no, cause, cause now her question is gonna be, who's Caster gonna end up with? <laughs> Kelly. Sure. Um, I was gonna joke and like name a random character, but then like I don't want her to think that that's true. Yeah, no, no, she takes shipping very seriously. Um, how many classes? I'm, I'm sure he'll end up with somebody. Yeah, somebody. We're, 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 I don't, I don't think we're like actively planning on characters dying alone. We don't, <laughs> we don't have something for everybody yet. No, but, like, no, they're not gonna die. We're, cer- we're certainly not planning on. Most of these characters dying alone, so yeah, no. don't worry. We'll, don't worry about it. We'll figure something out. Um, how many classes is a kid supposed to have a year? A uh, minimum of five. Uh, there's sixteen classes, so maybe like six. Maybe we should boost that a little bit. Yeah, but now that we're adding classes, we could maybe add one. But yeah, like, yeah, minimum of like six. Minimum of six. Maximum of like what do you say? Like, we had ten before, I think. I think maybe it should be eleven or twelve now, since there's more classes. Yeah, maximum of twelve. Maximum good. of twelve. Minimum of six. Maximum of twelve. That sounds good. That sounds good. Does Fernando ever come out anymore? If so, when? Uh, not a booster. Um. Well, maybe. Yes and no. Uh, he he does behind closed doors, but not like publicly. Like when he's when he's at his dorm, like. I'm sure Snacks would be like, yo, can you, like, cut that out? And he's like, all right, fine. <laughs> no, I feel like Snacks wouldn't have it in him to say that, but, like, eventually he'll walk into the dorm and Hernandez is being Hernandez. Oh, you don't have the mask on? Are you going to talk normally now? And then he's like, yeah, I'm going to talk. Yeah, talk okay, normally. yeah. I'm going to talk normally now, fine. <laughs> and Snacks is like, oh, thank God. You don't have to be an <laughs> asshole about it. <laughs> But no, I don't think. I, yeah, because Snacks is very non-confrontational. I don't think he'd say that. But no, no, yeah, he would. He would never. Uh, he would never go out in public uh, as himself. 
I guess it's an interesting question to know if, uh... What about Carmine? Yeah. yeah. Like, By the way, we're going to go with your pronunciation for that. I, we, 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 we've we said Carmine this entire time, but years. if you want it to be Carmine, it's your character. We'll, we'll change gladly. Yeah. Um, because this plot also took grievance with that, because he's like, isn't it supposed to be Carmen? I'm like, I'm not good with Carmen. I don't like that either. But Carmine, because I'm fine with. Because then we might as well have just spelled it differently. But yeah, no, I'm like... It's like that it's was, not I think that was your point. Yeah, no, this, the spelling, yeah. That, that was kind of what I was getting mad at, because I'm like, spelling, but, and it means things. But again, she's your character, so you, you pronounce it however else. Yeah, you. no, no, car means fine. I'm fine with that. But uh, yeah, uh, the question is, does, she, does he ever, like... Would he show himself to her like that? I feel like not for a while. Not for a while. I feel like he would be scared that if he were normal around her, then she would leave. Because he's boring. He's very boring. <laughs> so he probably, he'd probably probably be afraid that she'd think he was too boring. <laughs> yeah, no, but I, obviously she'd love him either way. Or she'd, like, overlook him. She'd, like, walk past him. I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, you didn't have the mask on. I didn't recognize you. I didn't you. recognize you. Well, see, because she's kind of stupid, but, like, yeah, no. I don't know. <laughs> she wouldn't actually do that. Um, when Kuro breaks his horns, does it hurt him? No. Uh, if he snaps it off to It only hurts on the inside. <laughs> when he's... He, to use his move spike cannon, he snaps off a horn and throws it at the opponent, and it kind of scatters, and that's how he uses the attack. Um, it does not hurt when he does that. Not at all. What do, what did hurt is when his horn on his forehead broke, because it, it because broke Because that's the not root. the one that, like, is supposed to break. No, I'd imagine that's not one that's... Because that, like, even if he did have that center horn, he wouldn't use that one to use uh, No, because he cannon. would use the other one, so, like... Yes. It's the ones on the side that he can break off. So it's like, you, like I think... Yeah. I don't think that he'd... So, break. no, it doesn't hurt. Don't worry about him. He's fine. <laughs> Who will Melanie hate? No, but you forgot one. Oh, uh, did I? Oh. No, I forgot 24. Oh, excuse me. Does Kaimana regret breaking Kuro's horn? No. N- d- no. 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 What? No. Of course, you, of course she does. What kind of fucking question is that? No. No, she, no, she doesn't. What are you talking about? <laughs> Cross his arms. I uh, regret nothing about breaking his horn. <laughs> asshole. Uh, as in Kuro. Nice. Um, yeah. Oh, you're just going to come out and say that? No! <laughs> okay, so, uh, we woke up in the morning, and I woke her up, and I hadn't looked at any of these questions, uh, except for this one. My eye fell on this one particularly, and I woke her up, and I'm like, hey, guess what? She guessed that one right, like, right away. Yeah, no, you're right on the money. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm not gonna tell you the reason why. No, we're not gonna tell you the reason, but... Be prepared for a storm. Yeah, a storm's it coming. is, and I'm, again, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're just gonna be a walking apology about it while she's just like a major bitch. I'm, I am so sorry. Yeah, no. Um, that's that's just the way it is. I can't help it. It's just, it's just it's, it's it's the character. It's just what she does. Yes. It's just I what she I would does. never do it if it was my choice, but I can't. Yeah, no. Um. She wills it. I can't help it. Yeah, she wills it. And the next is, uh, does Melanie return Dio's feelings of love? Yeah, she does care about him. Yeah. She likes him. He's a fucking nerd. And I think that sometimes she gets, she, 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 she wishes she didn't have to deal with him, but she likes him too much to tell him off. Yeah, no, like, he's just, he's a crybaby, but. He's, like, probably one of very few people that she doesn't mind being around yeah no like she like she 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 swears up and down she hates everybody she doesn't like being around anybody but like he's the one person he's like the one exception yes that she doesn't mind being around yes because like she just she loves him she really does he like they're just so close yes you know she wants to get annoyed with him sometimes but she just can't like she just smiles you know she, she, she does get a little annoyed with him sometimes, but, yes. like, not enough to, like, actually, actually tell him like, off or anything, yeah. yeah. Um. Is she dead set against nicknames? Okay. Nobody would. So, I thought, I thought, I thought long and hard about this one, and I talked to you about this. Um, basically, what I surmised is that, um. Uh, I don't think, I don't think. Dia would really nickname her. No, because he he he's a subordinate. Yeah, he, can't so he, he he refers to her with honorifics. Yeah, like so like I mean if that's if that's the closest thing that's probably the closest thing to a nickname that she has. Uh, it's probably like the thing with her is that uh, 
nobody is really close enough to get away with nicknaming her. So I think like, if anybody tried, she would like like if 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 just a random person would come up to her and like start nicknaming her, like she would find that extremely demeaning and disrespectful. So yeah. she wouldn't be about that. And she's all. a woman that demands respect. Yeah. Like like the only type of nickname that she would get is if somebody started calling her by an honorific. Like she'd be so into that, but otherwise. <laughs> no, otherwise no. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, uh, it's not that she's dead set against it, it's just that, like... She she demands respect from people, because she thinks she deserves it. And, and if, 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 you, like, and you'd have to be, a, like, close up to a certain degree to her to, like, get the, uh, the privileges to give her a nickname, and most people are not going to be. No. So, like, it's not that she's dead set against it, but most people wouldn't be on the level where she'd allow them to so it's 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 a no but yes but no kind of answer yeah it's yeah how does hector turnbull feel about agalhart putting the moves on his kid all right i'll talk about this one um so the thing with that is that uh uh lenore and and agalhart they kind of uh they they've known each other for a long time since they're like childhood friends aren't yeah, they? yeah almost i mean like I don't think she was like like super young. Maybe like six, seven, probably something like that. Um, when they met, and uh, basically, uh, I think for as long as she can remember, uh, she she liked him. So basically, it came down to like, and like, and I really want this, and it will make me really happy. And, uh, those are the criteria for, uh... Making Hector Turnbull happy is, yeah. like, like, like if my daughter wants it, she gets it. She gets it. So, uh, basically, uh, yeah, he's, 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 he's fine with it. Yeah. He encourages it. Yeah, no. I, so, I, 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 I can, think I can safely say that he would, he definitely encourages it. Yeah. Um, so, so, cause that's kind of a funny way to answer that, because you'd expect him to be like, oh, you can't date my daughter, who the fuck are you? But no, like, he, he, he wants what's best for her, and if she wants it, she gets it, you know? Yeah, and it's not like he's some random, like, schmuck off the street. No, like, like he knows he, who, he, who... He has, like, he, he knows, he knows his parents, uh, like, he's clearly from, like, like, a, a, a decent upbringing, and, like, he doesn't have, like, I mean... I guess I guess being mad about somebody having a record would be kind of ironic coming from him, but like <laughs> no, only someone pure can be with my daughter. So like it's like it's like there's nothing like objectionable. No, he's a good kid. He's get it, he's got to get, get it, it get it objectionable. That's a lawyer joke. Mm -hmm. Um, no, he he's a good kid. He's a smart kid. He's got a good head on his shoulders. He's he's gonna do something with his life. So like, like she really wants it. And there's nothing objectionable about him, which means that he has no issues with it. No, there's no issues. There's, there's nothing There's wrong. no issues there. He's absolutely fine with it. Yeah, no, he's fine with Again, it. Again, he encourages it. Yeah, no. Uh, why doesn't Jafia go to school? Uh, um, both her and her brother don't really go to school that much. I guess I'll talk a little bit more. I, I talked about this in the video, but basically, um, Takeo had a lot of trouble raising his kids because, like, he he was a hooligan himself, and so his kids are, like... Total delinquents. Yeah, they're delinquents. And and he had trouble really reeling them in and trying to get them to go to school and trying to get them to do the things that they, they should have done because at the same time, you know... Yeah, because... So, like... So, so they don't really go to school that often because they're just... They're just delinquents, you know? They just She don't. got a spell for th threatening a teacher. Yeah, like, that's just how they <laughs> that are. Kind, that kind of thing. Yeah, like, that's just who they are as people. So, um, that's why Chifuyu doesn't go to schools, because, like, she just, it's, it, it's just, like, she just rather her be doing... School, her and school don't really get along. No, she'd rather be doing other things with her time. Yeah. Honestly. Um, so, yeah, that's why, that's why her and her brother are kind of older, but they're both technically, uh, sophomores, so that's mm -hmm. kind of that. Uh, where did Violetta get her scars? Well, well when did she get when? her scars? Um, fairly recently. Uh, so, I'd say probably the I forget when their birthday is. Oh shit! Um, hold on. I thought I had the file open. I actually don't. Hold on. I can go get it really quick. Very very quickly. I can go get that. 
I guess uh, I hope so. Probably the quick axis and for it itself. Yeah, or that. Or this. It's right here. Okay, well, we can do that too. <laughs> Hold on. No, I'll just pass it. Um, their birthday is March 26th. Okay, so, uh, yeah, they would be the same age because that means that they wouldn't age until decent way through the story. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, at the age of 17, which he is. Yeah, so, so, so pretty recently to the start of the story. Yeah. Uh, at least assuming that it was post-birthday, which I, I guess it is. Yeah. Um, uh, what evolution was she? She was a Steenie at the time. Yes. Uh, the events surrounding it actually kind of led to the evolution taking place. Yes. But, uh, yeah, she was, at the time she was a Steenie, like her sister. And they basically looked... They looked exactly alike. They looked identical, except for their uh, their colors. So I guess uh, their parents were very thankful that one of them was a shiny. Because otherwise it would have <laughs> be been like a, like, you gotta dress they, them differently situation. Yeah, they would they would do the, uh, they would do a lot of uh, twin switching and stuff. Yes. Because they'd look exactly the same. Yes. We don't know which one is which anymore. You're one of them. They specifically named the Violetta so like they couldn't pull that where they, they were like, wait, which one of you is a shiny one and which one isn't? It's like, no, we gotta we gotta name the shiny one something purple related so we know which one is which. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, no. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, there's a slight error here. I see why you did this. I, I, was, I was about to correct it before we, uh, yeah. got to it. But... Okay, so her name is... Okay, no, the, we see why you got confused here. It's because... They uh, both have very Hawaiian-sounding names, but they are Hawaiian. Yeah. Um, but does, Kaimana is my Toxapex. Kaimana is the Toxapex, yeah. Um, does Kilohana ever fight without assistance from GE? Um, yeah, no, if only her name started with an A, then I could do Cage. But uh, it, it's more like Keege. Keege. I like Keege. Yes. It's, a, it's such a weird name, but I kind of like it. <laughs> yes. They don't really have a good combination name. I thought of one jokingly at one point that sucked, but, like, I can't remember what it was. Um, she could keep the mask in her boot. She, that, she could, I guess. Um, How about G-Key? That's terrible. G-Key. <laughs> that's, te- that's terrible, but it kind of works. I don't like it. Okay, um, there goes that. Uh, Kilohana, no. If anything, I was actually thinking of giving her a completely different moveset. Because, like, Kilo- no. Not ever. I don't no, think she, she would ever do that. She fight on her own. Like, if she, ha- like, if she didn't have access to her mask and she was put in a place where, like, she had to fight, it would be a disaster. Like, she would get, like, her ass beat. Like, it's bad. Like, she cannot fight at all. Like, her moveset would be, like, Scratch and Ember and shit. Like, just disastrous. Like, she can't fight. Um, so that's that. Um, can you guys explain the, uh, blood types briefly? Okay, I'm gonna Uh, stick up on the screen, uh, the two guides that I use. Or do you wanna just, like... Do a separate video on that? I can do a separate... Actually, yeah, we'll do a separate video on that. That's what I I said we would do, but hold on. Uh... Uh, I am, I'm being texted by my father, so I'm having to communicate in a different language while we're oh, talking Oh, sorry, here. sorry. No, no, it's okay. But just, like, give me a hot minute and I'll, you know. It's a loading screen. Yes, I'm it's sorry. Bo- no, I'm making noise to make sure she doesn't think her Roku like disconnected or something. Because yeah. I don't want her to. Yeah, I'm just I'm just making noise for the sake of making noise. Uh, mm, there's something I wanted to say, but I don't remember what it was. I'm just gazing ahead at the questions here to just be prepared, prepared to answer them, and I think we're getting towards the end here. Because uh, I want this video to be not as long winded as the other one, because like I'm cer- I'm certainly not helping. But okay, no, no I'm okay, done. Are you done? All right. All right. Yeah. What did your dad want? Uh, he was just asking if the oven that we oh, got today was. Oh, we didn't even was, know. Uh, we we couldn't test it out. Well, no, I, I use it. Oh, oh, for the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I, warmed up, I warmed up our uh, uh, our, our tortillas. Our tortillas. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. We know it's tortilla. It's, it's a joke. Yes. Um, like can we divide the class and so we're all even? Yes. Uh, okay, so I'm going to uh, uh, get this notepad and I'm going to basically not call Kevin and not look at my messages. Oh, I hope Nozomi doesn't need anything. That's my that's my good friend. Uh, I don't. I hope it's not important. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this up on the screen and I'm going to basically uh, talk about this for a hot minute. Okay, so pop that up. You gotta save it. Yeah, uh, no, I actually don't because as long as there aren't two with the untitled title, then that's oh, okay. fine. Yeah, that, that was what was fucking me, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, so we're going to do this, and we're going to do window. No! Well, that's actually fine. You can look at that. I hope. No, that was just Susie's thing. There's nothing written well, there. Well, let's, let's, let's check real quick. Oh, uh, no, they're fine. Nope, they're fine. Okay. They're fine. No there's, no, there's no spoilers there, because it's meant to be viewed by literally anyone. Okay, that's just... Because I know, I know we have uh, some things in there, or at least in one of the versions of that file where, like... I had a joke in there, because we were talking about a thing, and it was technically a spoiler. Because we were just, like, we, we had mused about the thing with, with, with a friend, and no. it's a long story. But, um... Hold on, let's get rid of the other one real quick. Yeah, I'm it's Winter Capture 16. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so there is the, the class list. Uh, Wooden Metal Shop is me. The character is Celian Crest, and that's my, uh... Duck. It's, it's Cresselia. Cresselia, thank you. Duck. Uh, environment? I'm not sure, because environment and history, I think you retired Herb and Maggie, which is fine. I'm fine with that. But now you only have one teacher, and each of us are getting four teachers. Yeah. So I don't know what you want to do about that. You also forgot science on this list, which I am also typing. Oh, okay, okay. So you're officially going to do that? Okay, hold yeah. on. I can't believe I forgot about science. Hold on, give me a second. Because I had ideas for science and... Uh... Already. Yes. Okay. So science, Kevin is taking. Make it a little bit longer. Uh, wood and oops. Hold on. Wood and metal shop is me. Environments. I don't know if you want to just make a new teacher or do something or put back in Maggie. I am. I am also uh, willing to uh, swap around classes if you want. Same. Uh, uh, um. So basically, I will write here. Uh, Kevin's taking that. I'll see. Uh, health is Aureus. I don't think I spelled that right. No, you spelled I did that right. Okay, this is Rewite. Um, history. Make, make I don't know. I do. Oh fuck. Is falling off. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. All right. But make it a little bit more because language arts is gonna have. Oh no. So who actually? Who's uh, it, it, it Aaron. Oh well. She's a very short name. Left it. Whatever. Uh, FCS is Ryan the Dark Rye. Yes. Plot has a lease here. You should here. put Aaron at language art, actually. Uh, she actually didn't write on uh, I didn't. Okay. And Aaron. And then music is me. Uh, that's Lillian. I would like to swap out that class to something else because I don't know what to do with it. So if you ever were like, hey, music, I then you I can do music, that. Yeah. yeah, no, then we can do We can do a switcheroo. It's fine. Uh, botany, that's not a character yet. Uh, astronomy Pottery. Uh, Ryuna is now a teacher again. What happened was there was a weird miscommunication where we all collectively forgot that uh, Ryuna was supposed to be the FCS teacher. And you only found out because you were reading old... I was reading old, old like, tests where we were, like, talking about, like, teachers and stuff, and the FCS teacher was Ryuna. And I was like, oh, shit! Because <laughs> eventually, somewhere along the line, we discovered he didn't have a class anymore. And I was like, what the fuck happened here? Yeah. So now he's the pottery teacher. Uh, battling is me. Yeah, if I could spell her name right, Mew. And then Jim is Soul. Does Tandu? Yeah. Okay, and so that leaves Botany for Kevin because he called Dibs. See, um, I did call Dibs, but if like, we don't know what what your plans are because yeah, like, so like for example, like if you if you're like if you're like, uh, I already have a character. I and everything. technically have environment claimed, but I want Botany instead. Like, I'm willing to swap those. Yeah, because those are th those are fine to swap, I think. Even though I'm an asshole and I took it from Plot, but... See, no, what happened was that, like, I asked Plot, like, what class do you want Reuna to take? And he said, uh, botany. Like, maybe he's a secret, like, botanist or something. And I yelled at Kevin making dinner. I'm like, babe, Plot's taking botany. Are you okay with that? Because I, I forgot to ask you what you wanted. No, you, no, you didn't ask if I was okay with that. And I was like, ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, because he was like, oh, shit, I wanted botany. And then I was like, oh, fuck, Plot, can you, like not and plot's like oh that's fine he can take pottery and i'm like i figured you'd say pottery anyway for him <laughs> it just works um 
Uh, I already have four teachers, so there's nothing I can do. Um, I kind of wanted... See, I also wanted Botany, but he can take it, and I can't even make a teacher. No, If I could swap to a different class, any class, I would choose Astronomy. But I'm assuming since you suggested it that you would like it. I don't know if... if... Lillian would work for that, because I assume that's the one you would swap over. You're right. May- I don't know, I might just make her the English teacher. That's fine. I don't know. The, the, unless nobody wants music, I'll keep it, but it's just I don't know what to do with the class. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know. But yeah. Um, um, and that's where I'm at. Uh, I am... Uh, I am slightly eyeing uh, either history or environment if you don't want them. If you don't yeah. want them purely, so it's for you two to figure out, and then yeah, like, well, like, yeah. Well, like I'm, I'm willing, I'm willing to change because I'm not, I'm not even like, like science. I'm probably gonna take because it's already, it's been here the whole time and nobody wanted it. And we so. keep joking, you're gonna take it anyway. Yeah, so I should really take science because I mean, Lord knows I need a class. And like, yeah, again, no. it's just kind of been the joke that I was gonna take science and from the start, so I should. See, it's really funny because like you specifically retired two teachers to make room for Kevin, but you didn't even need to do that because now you only have one teacher. Yeah, and it's like. Oh, fuck. So fine. Since you suggested astronomy, I'm assuming you want that. That's what I said. Yeah, I'm assuming she wants it if she suggested but, uh, it. Put yeah. botany with a question mark for me. Uh, again, it's just that, like, the character I had come up with, like, would work better for botany than, like, other things. Especially yeah. if environment is taken. Like, that that was the thing. Like, if environment wasn't taken, I could go with that one instead. But, like... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, again, you, you two can figure that out. That Whatever works. Yeah, so again, like, I'm also willing to swap if you're, like, I would rather have botany than environment. Like, I can swap, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, again, uh, I'd be fine with taking it. Like, history is probably the one that, like, of the subjects I don't have, I would be the most interested in taking. But, like, I'm not going to take it from you, like, if you want it. That's, yeah. the, that's the thing. Like, I think I can, like, do stuff with that, but, like... I'm not gonna take it from you if you want it. Like, if you want it, it's yours. Like, don't don't even like be like, oh well, you can have it now. Like, if no, you no, want... no, because we're we're not gonna have a politeness battle here. If you want to take no, it, no, because because if we're gonna have a politeness battle, then we are gonna be we're never gonna get anything until done. the end of time. Yeah, no, we're never gonna get anything done. We we're gonna keep do we're gonna keep going back and forth with like, oh no, you take it until Caddy steps in and is like, I've had enough of your shit. I'm taking it. I'm you... fucking taking it. <laughs> you you guys start fighting over music instead. I don't want that shit. <laughs> No, because I'm just sick of that class. Because I don't know what to do with Lillian and it's starting to piss me off. Like, as a character, I don't know what to do with her. Because her class is just, I don't know what to do. Would you would you have more to do with her as a character if she had English? Probably, because I was really looking at the chart. And I'm like, Elise and Ryuna have very similar classes because, like, they're similar. Like, they're friends. And I'm like, well, then I guess her and her kids should have similar classes that they teach. But I don't want music to not have a teacher. Because if nobody wants it, then I don't want to force Cherry to I take mean, it. like... I mean, like, it's, it's, if I have a fourth slot, I could always take music also, like. See, but, but I'm more musically inclined of us. Like, I, I know more about music theory. Yeah, I've literally true. taken music I've, classes. I don't know shit about music. Yeah, no. I know, I know absolute dick about music. Like, I've been in an orchestra, I've taken music theory, I know about music. Like, I mm. could, I could competently okay. run the class. Okay, fancy pants. I was I was second chair last seat like both times. I don't even know what that means. I was the worst in my class both years in a row. I didn't get any better. I'm sorry. I was last in my class. No, but <laughs> out of how many? Four. <laughs> Good. No, there was like thirty kids in the class. It's a joke. But no, like I, I can't competently teach the class. It's just I don't know what to do with it. Okay, that's fair enough. I mean, what you could also what you could always do is no. See, that's the thing. I would say, like, you could just swap it over to somebody else, but, like, you really can't can either. No, because I like Celia as the wooden metal shop teacher. No, like, like she's kind of locked, and I think you kind of, like, settled on Soul for Jim also, so, like, you can't really swap those. No, those two are locks. So the only thing you could do is, like, swap Lillian to language ours, if that would give you more to do with her. That gives me less to do with Aaron, though. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm just trying to come up with a solution. But the yeah, point no. is, is that, like... Uh, I am obviously locked into battling, and I'm, uh, pretty much locked into science, but I'm willing to, uh, take whatever other two classes I end up with. Yeah, you'd prefer botany, but... 
But if you well, have your heart set like, on it's, a chair, it's, then... no. Again, it's not that I prefer botany. It's that like I I want either botany or environment because they would work with one of the characters that I have. Because uh, can I know about them or no? I mean, there's not anything to know about the characters. Are you making a it's Lucian? Just, yeah. Okay. Okay. That was that was say it. Yeah. Because I was gonna. Because do... I was gonna make a leafy on for Bonnie. Because <laughs> I was gonna do a package deal here. Like, if I was gonna do like I was gonna do the one for science and the one for either one of the. Uh, what uh, evolution be for science? Uh, well, there's only three left. There's no steel type. No, science is not to do with steel. Like it's like gray like it makes you think of like gray and like steel and like cold ice yes, okay yes. they would kind of, so they would kind of be a package deal so like if i was going to do science i wanted at least one of the ones that would fit with oh so glaceon and leafeon is like a pa oh okay okay i see i, I was see. gonna have them be siblings and that's as far as i got i think okay that's fine because that's like i like that that's neat. that's that's, okay. as, that's as far as i got uh I think the Leafeon was going to be a dude because I'm different. Of course the Glaceon's going to be a... Actually, or, no, 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 both... no, the Glaceon's going to be a dude. Ah, well, one of them would have to be a dude. Yeah, no. But I was going to do that one because I'm different. Yo. Yeah, no. I, w I was going to make the, 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 the Leafeon a girl. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, yeah, I was going to... That, that that was the plan there. So, like, that can work for either botany or environment. So that's when that's why I was, like... Wait, like, if an environment is still, like, sort of on Cherry and, like, plot's gonna take botany, then what am I gonna do with this character? That was why I was kind of like, eh. Okay, so, yeah, we didn't mean to cut plot on botany, but, like... No, it's just because, like... He didn't seem too heartbroken about it, because he's like, I think pottery works better for Riona. Okay, well, that's fine, then. Um, again, if it, if it ends up that ever I can get, like... If I can get environment instead, uh, I'm willing to be like, hey, plot, you want uh, botany? Botany, anyway. Like, if Cherry doesn't want botany, anyways, and she's like, I'm gonna forfeit environment, also. Like, yeah. Then at that point, I'm like, hey, plot, you want bo you want yeah, botany? you want to swap back to bo uh, to uh, uh, botany? <laughs> yeah, but we'll, yeah, we'll figure that out. But that's that's the thing. Like, this is just one of those things that we're gonna have to like kind of discuss well, a little we're, bit. We're gonna play it by ear, basically. And we're but the point is that like I wanted one of the uh, naturey type classes yeah. for the one character. I like how we had both the same train of thought I was going to make a leafy on for. Well, see, but... because, like, I looked at the... Th I looked at the thing, well, I'm like, okay, so there's four classes left, well, clearly we just have to do the other ones. And the astronomy teacher better be an Umbreon, because I was also thinking yes. of making an astronomy and teacher. And then whatever's left should be uh, Espeon, so we just have all of them, because we, yes. were, we were, we were like, halfway... We're this close! We were halfway there, so I'm just like, let's just fucking do the rest of them, why not? Yeah, no, let's just do it. Because I certainly didn't have any better ideas. So, like, whatever class... Like, I might go with the Espeon, unless I end up with Astronomy, because then I'll do the Umbreon. But I think yeah. the I think Umbreon for Astronomy works... Better? Better. It, fi it fits more aesthetically. So, like, if yeah. I end up with that class, I'll make the Umbreon, but otherwise I'm probably gonna, like, stick an Espeon on whatever's left. Yeah. That's gonna be my, uh... Yes. My thing there. That sounds good. Uh questions okay here we go so yeah we are definitely going to divide the classes and, yes uh, we basically already did it it's just a matter of figuring out who's going to get to take what. yes uh and this question we're going to do that for you we're probably going to dig through fire emblem heroes and we're going to find voice actors that we like because that's a game we play See, that the we thing is, is that like for. i don't we don't really have like i don't do that like i don't i well i don't do that isn't the right word. no i'm speaking strictly for me yeah, yeah, yeah. well like see the thing is, is that like i I vaguely know what characters sound like, but it's not like I have, like, specific people in mind. So what I would do is, like, I would just, like, listen to, li like we said, uh, we're just gonna go through a game that has voice clips, and we're just gonna, like, listen to voice clips where we're like, yeah, that kind of sounds like what we pictured. It doesn't mean that it's, like, that specific. But, like, this is vaguely in the ballpark. Yeah, like, we're gonna, we're gonna at least try to do something like that, because I have a vague idea of what some of them sound like yeah so yeah we'll definitely uh we'll figure that out that'll be a separate video at one point okay uh no 
I'll lock that so I can stop messing with it. Okay, so this is a complicated question. Uh, mainly Damon, what was going on in their lives? Uh, let me fix this. Oh God. Oh, and I guess we'll just keep it on there because that's the last. This one of the no, no. I thought it was the last question. No, it's just the end no, of the thing. Okay. Right. Okay. So six years ago, when they were all about eleven, aside from Damon, who would have been thirteen. Wait, hold on. Uh, the Golden Maggots were all in the same time as the six years ago. Uh, six years ago. Let's just go back six years ago. Yeah. Well, let's say it would have been 12. She would have definitely been there. She would have been a golden menace. Uh, I think, when did we say Sibella was, uh, that she was like 13 or 14. For 13 or 14. So she would have also still been there. Yes. Uh, Damon would have also been there. So yeah, uh, all of them were there. Mm-hmm. Um, for the record, uh, Lucy has been there since she was eight. Yes. Uh, Damon has been there since birth. He's been there his whole life. Uh, and I think Sabella has been there since she was like, what did I say, four or five? Four or five, yeah. So, uh, that's the, uh, that's the timeline there. Um, let's see. Also, is there anything special going on in that particular year or the three leading up to it? Um, in the three leading up to it, uh, going back, wait. Wait. So are we going back fourteen years now, or are we, or, or or is it, or is it Hold roughly? On. No, weird? we're going back. One of our about eleven, so yeah. that was seven years ago, plus another three years. Uh, another three years from eleven would be when Alicia was eight. So that's when she would be, just getting into the orphanage. Yeah, coincidentally, a lot of shit's happening that year because that's also like, it's, um, because Damon is a mute by then. Uh, he, he, uh, he started being a mute when he was around eight or nine, I think. Probably. He at least had enough time to tell, uh, Sabella about his theories. Yeah. So, like, he, he probably, like, they probably were, like, they probably hung out for a little while at least. Yeah. Yeah. So Um... that would give him, like... Again, when, what did you say, seven or eight? Yeah. Um, I, I guess that would be about right. Da- how old is... Okay, so Alicia is 17, and Damon... Da- Damon's only two years older than her, not three. Oh, yeah, no, no that's correct. No, yeah, two yeah. years. Okay, no, she's correct, she's correct. Um, yeah, no, because uh, da- yeah, Damon was already mute by then. He didn't speak, he wasn't speaking. Because he didn't start speaking until she started talking to him, right? Alicia? Or, um, or something like that? Um, hold on. Uh, okay, so she I actually was... forgot about that. Puzzle. Yeah, no, okay, so so she went to the orphanage when she was eight, and he was 11. No, no, he was 10? He was 10 at that He was time. 10. Um, and so he was not speaking for, like, a year at that point, and he didn't speak for another, like, I want to say, year. Okay. So that would still be before... The point that we're specifically being asked about. It's just in the three year lead up. After the first year of that, he starts talking. Again. Yeah, because it was originally like three years, but I'm like, I don't know if that's realistic or not. I, I don't know what's realistic. Well, I mean, it could be three years, but like, it just overlaps one year with, uh, or like it ends one year after yeah. Alicia gets there and starts two years before it. That's yeah. Fine. No, because like he was a mute for quite a while, because uh, he just, he just didn't speak to anyone, not even Alicia. And then one day he just started talking again. Um, and I'm not... Yeah, no. Um, there was a while, though, at least, where like he, he had a companionship with her where she just did all the talking. Yes. Not unlike their relationship now, where she just does all the talking. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, he, 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 he was... Uh, yeah, that's his thing. See, I think, I think in the time that he was... Mute, he already had learned it. Yeah. So it's not like he would be learning it within that three year time span that you're specifically asking about. Because yeah. again, after that, after the first year of that time span, like he started talking again. So he would have, I'd imagine he would have like had mastered it, like basically even before Alicia got there. Yes. So, like. See, I, I don't know if this is mess- messing with what you want. So you can kind of communicate with me more if you would like that to be different because it doesn't matter. 
But see, see, because on my end, for Sabella is, uh, she was there. Uh, she didn't really go through any like major changes as she was. Yeah. Uh, the only change that she really went to is like she kind of got the idea in her head about her backstory that she does. Oops. Which uh, happened fairly early on, so like that would definitely be already like way in the past by now. So other yeah. than that, she's just her. Uh, her oddball little self. Yeah, no, like, like, Alyssa and Damon kind of have, like, arcs within the, 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 um, the, uh, orphanage, but, but, uh, Sabella remains fairly static. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, just, just, just hit me up if that doesn't it's work It's because she's you. like a plant. Yes. She just kind of... She just exists. She, she, she stays. She, she, gr- she grows at her own pace, and that's... Yes, yeah, that's all anybody can ask for. Um, but, yeah, no, if that fucks with something you want to do, or if that's not good, then you can just hit me up and then we'll, we'll discuss it because i was just throwing numbers at you uh because i genuinely haven't thought about it i just forgot but at least from the way that i see it like as a semi outstander or bystander in all of this um uh, at least the specific one you ask about should definitely be fine and the other one is mostly fine the three-year lead up yeah but you yeah, know anything more specific than that if you if you want to make plans you want to do shit then just let me know because I'm, I'm flexible with that. That doesn't matter to me. I'm like, hiccup burping. <laughs> like, the only thing that, that's static is, like, is like shit like uh, Damon, when, when he's there, when Alicia arrives. That stuff can't be changed. But yeah. anything else is fine. Especially Alicia arriving is kind of like a... a that's very static. Date. That cannot change. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and then... Uh, next question is was Cather asking about Parfait to check her out for his brother's sake? He was not interested in pursuing her. No, that was not kind of part of the uh, the misunderstanding there. Yes. Um I, it, it's vaguely because he's 16 and at the time she was 14 and that's kind of weird. Not well that's not that weird, but like, you know, she's very small and like I don't know, I think that would be strange. But no, um um, it's, it, no, so... It so, was kind of a pileup of, like, misunderstandings that, like, happened there. Yeah, so, so that's kind of that. And I don't mean to move very I, quickly. I, it, but... Sorry, no, you're not done? I'm not sorry, I didn't know no. you're not done. Why? Are you, are you, like, worried about the time? Yeah, a little bit, but, but, no, you can go, it's We're fine. We're fine. We're fine, it's alright. Yeah. No, um... See, I think, again, I think I said this is a pile of misunderstandings, and I think, like... That whole situation was talked out, but they just kind of like decided, like, mm, no. I think he wants her back, but she would never. No, I, I think I think she uh, she's like, no, I don't really. <laughs> you, you, you seem to want. You seem to have. I'm I'm worried about your uh, uh, various uh, uh, affinities for women for for these other uh, girls. Yes, your sister's right. Yes, your sister's right. <laughs> Is Kato aware at all of Parfait's... Nope. nope. Uh-uh. He has no idea. He yeah. doesn't know. And we uh, answered this next one, but it is uh, Amber. It's Amber. the shiny one. Yes. And then there's... They, are, they are indeed the same species of Pokemon. They are indeed he the same did, species, uh, yes. Notice that, right? That was kind of the point, that they were the same one. Yes. Uh, does Ambrosia... Going by Amber because she dislikes her name? Yes. Absolutely. She hates her name. She thinks it sounds like a grandma name, I think, right? Yeah. She, yes. she, it's borderline like, who names their kid that? Yeah, no. Who named me that? I know the assholes who named me that, and then I hate <laughs> them for it. But, um, yeah, uh, she just, she just doesn't like it. No, she, she, she hates bord- she, She's borderline, like, horrified when people find out. Like, it's... Like, it's like, it's like a big source of embarrassment for her. It's sort of like Snacks. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, you keep calling him Barrel, which fucking amuses the shit out of me. Because Nobody he ever call. No, don't do that. <laughs> He'd hate it. Don't do that. And that's why it's so funny. Yeah, no, he would hate it. Don't do that. Um, so yeah, it's the same thing with, with Amber. Like, with, with Snacks, it's harder to hide. And, like, he just doesn't tell people his name. But, yeah. like, with Amber, like, she just gets genuinely embarrassed. Like, no. Uh, okay. Uh, are parents aware they're playing favorites? Not really. Not really. Because they don't mean to be playing favorites, they just kind of are. Like, you know, Parfait's the baby, and, you know, she's doing really well, and, you know, and, and it's a pile-up of shit, and then Amber's like, I'm trying, and then they're like, good job, kid. Oh, yeah, you did a good job, too. Yeah, no, like, it's not it's intentional. Right. They don't, they're not, they're not trying to be bad parents, because it's not a bad parents story, it's just, no. like, 
they're they're just they're they're just dividing their attention badly. What does Seamus' parents think of his job? I thought very long and very hard about this, and I uh, didn't know where he was from originally, but um, I will say that his parents think that what he does is it, he, they don't like it. Like either thing, because they weren't into him being into the movie scene, no. and they're not into him being uh, a butler either in the butler scene no right? no they're not happy with him at all they they they, they think that he's just they, they they think of him as being like lost they're like you're just trying to rebel um basically i won't get into too much detail because it has to do with galar but basically like his family like they they attend to like this this like this like tower or something and like you know, um, they they attend to this thing. It's very important. It's a very traditional kind of thing. And and Seamus didn't want to have anything to fucking do with that. And and they they they're not happy about it. Effectively, and... he doesn't want to take over the family business. And yeah, upset by him. Exactly. So that that's his backstory. Um, and yeah, so they're not happy. Is T type a species specific move? I was very impressed that you managed to pick that one out because I'm like, wow. Uh, you, you're spot on. With you're that on because, the ball, yeah. Because it is. Like, you managed to pick out that, uh, Amber was a shiny one, and that tea time is a species-specific move, and I'm like, wow, you're really good at this. Because, yes, it is. Yeah, no. So, uh, yeah, sadly, nothing else can really have it. Yep, that's, that's it. Uh, does Garna's emote change? Yes, it does. Um, basically, the emote is, like, a bunch of preset emotes on my phone. Like, they have, like, the, like, the, the really, like, like, anime-looking ones. Like, the, that, um... I delete the left eye? It's the left one? Um, Looking at this picture, it's the left one, Yeah, right? it's the left one. Yeah, the left eye of the emote. I take it out, and I replace it with just a single space, and then that's it. Um, so, yeah. It, it's normal-ass emotes like that, um, but with only one eye, and uh, yeah, it does change, and she can change it with the little keyboard thing. Uh, does the emote change? I know Arlene has never been wrong, but has she been surprised by a result? And that's the last one. Um, well, since she's never been wrong, she's never been surprised by the result itself. But uh, like we implied, uh, sometimes things go her way, but not in the way that she thought. So that part would surprise her, but the result wouldn't. Because, if I mean, if she's right, then... She's right. She's right. Yes. That wouldn't surprise her. And she's been right so much that, like, it doesn't surprise her that she's right. Because... No, but sometimes it's how we got to that point. Yeah, it's, is, it's, is it's surprising. how. Yeah, it's, it's the how, not really the... Not, not, really the... not really the why. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, actually, before you do this, uh, move the screen up to be at the top. Like, in the window. Because you're going to switch to the other thing, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. Hold on. Here, let me do it. Let me do it. We'll, we'll do what? Do this. Oh no. Can you hold the button? No. For me? Okay, well why is what? You don't have to be you don't have to be a jerk about it. Oh no. I'm having to lean over, this is not as easy as it looks. Okay. Cause otherwise it's gonna put it like at the bottom when you switch files, because I know what you were about to do. Okay, yeah, I was gonna do the yeah thing. I can do that. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. please do because I'm leaning awkwardly. Okay, uh, it's the remarks. Where the hell are the remarks? Good cherry remarks. Where are they? Maybe open it. Yeah, maybe open it. Hold on. Cherry remarks and then top that. Okay, hold on. There we go. It just wasn't registering that it was there. Okay. <laughs> you guys calmly answers it in negative for negative for number 16. I'm so sorry that made you upset. I'm very sorry. I'm well, very, very sorry. I don't, I don't know where you got that it made her upset. <laughs> no, because the hysterical sobbing. Yeah, but like, doesn't hysterical imply that she's laughing at it? Uh, no, no, hysterical and, and, and upset meaning, meaning that you're like inconsolably crying. Like, to be hysterically sobbing means that, like, you're screaming and crying and you're, like, beyond grieving. Okay. Because I thought, I took it as her, like, 
Like, laughing so hard that she was crying. No, I think she like, means it as in, like, yeah. That's what I thought. No, because if you're crying hysterics, that means that, like, you're, like, sobbing and screaming and you're, like, really, really upset. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. As a southern native, I can officially say it's pronounced debutante. Funny, because Melanie's definitely professional in the arts of taunting. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Also, I uh, especially like this next one here. That's not a pun. <laughs> yes, it was. If I <laughs> if I said it, it definitely was. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on record saying that. Yeah. <laughs> just, just motherfucking lazy. <laughs> Damn it. Um. Okay, and here's you mentioning about the pictures. Uh, Kato's last name is the same as his siblings. Yeah, we. I'm assuming that's what you meant. We didn't know what you meant there because I assumed that was about the comic. So yeah. Um, we didn't know who you were referring to necessarily. Yeah. Uh, the screensaver, that's really cute. Yes, I love the screensaver. Yes. It took me, it took me a while to figure out what the, because I looked at the pictures first, because usually, like, you send pictures and, like, I can just look at them and then be like, oh, these, these, these pictures, like, I, like, I wasn't expecting there to be an explanation for the pictures. Yes. So I looked at the pictures and I'm like, wait, it's a picture of... One of the pictures that I did, I was very confused yes. by it. But then I read this, and I'm like, "Oh, you made, oh, you made a screen. Okay, yeah, I see. All right, yeah, I really liked it. Uh, the yellow marks in her, I didn't even notice. <laughs> it, 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 it's, uh, it's good that you didn't notice that they were there, but it's all right, uh, that they're not there. Also, I like the map. Yes, the map is good. Uh, so Carver, uh, mom's proud when his sister died and his dad divorced her. She was a drunk. Uh, Liv Elsewhere, leaving Scarlet to sink or swim. Going to AI, which doesn't see because he's trigger. It's really, yeah. Yeah, no, like, you didn't mention the thing about, like, going more into detail about the mom, but otherwise you were fine. Yeah. That's basically what you said. And for, this, this is just, like, an addendum to that. Yeah. Uh, for Carver's question, he doesn't just have nightmares or says his dreams where they just talk. Also, doesn't see hallucinations he think when they're conscious. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it's not always, like, because one time you sent me a story of when he talked to his sister, but, like, it ended with, like, blood everywhere or something. I don't quite remember, but it got graphic and, like, I'm, The like, DS turned to blood. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the sister turned to blood, and so I was, like, <laughs> yeah, no, I thought that always happens. So that's why I was making all those jokes. Okay. Orius. He worked for Cassandra's parents. She forgot about that. I forgot. No, because I was wondering where the fuck Cassandra... Like, what does she have to do with this guy? Yeah, no. Okay. Yes, he worked for her parents. And I remembered we talked about this because she was like, what are they like? I'm like, they're monsters. And she's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, they're a trip. Um, Good. I had realized something really funny today. I was washing dishes. I was washing dishes and I was thinking and I was like... Or yesterday. She, she mind that washing dishes. Yes, I did. And I was like, I can't see everybody who leaves Cassandra leaves to battle. That's really funny. Yes. So I'm like, no, but that explains why she got her panties in a bunch about Laurel. Because yeah. Aureus left a battle. Yes. So that would explain why she reacted so violently to Laurel. Because before there wasn't really a reason for it. Yes. But that explains it. It's a good thing uh, Brontes never got divorced because I can't imagine him battling. <laughs> that was my next thought as I was doing dishes. I'm like, Brontes will never leave because he doesn't battle. That was literally my next thought. I'm laughing to myself. I'm like, oh, I'm so fucking funny. I was wondering what you were laughing at. Because you just, like, at one point, like, I was just sitting in the living room. And I just hear her, like, double over laughing. But, like, usually she has her ear buttons. She doesn't, she, she doesn't I'm even, listening to music. So yeah. she doesn't even hear, like, when I call out to her, like, 90% of the time. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like should I should I even bother asking her what's so funny? I'm like, <laughs> no. I was thinking about Princess Bowie. No. And that's the reason he won't divorce her. <laughs> that's the only reason. That's the only reason. <laughs> God. <laughs> no, it's so funny. It's so fucking funny. It's funny because also her daughter did the same thing. Her daughter also left a battle. Yes, everybody who leaves her life leaves to go battle. <laughs> it's just despite her. Yes, it's like the universe. It's like it's like it's like how everything just like stacks against Laurel for no reason. It's like, the universe just fucking hates Cassandra. Yes. <laughs> so, no. Um, if that's your question, then no. Um, as a small child, Cassandra was a lot like Alicia. Like, awkward, small, good kid. Like, very similar. So, no, he would he would instantly recognize her. See, I'm, like, I'm, I was actually wondering about that. Like, because, like... Uh... 
if if how old was Cassandra at this point? Um, when he was working for her, yeah, working for her parents. Um, let's see, he's fifty-two is... right now, and she's what, like thirty-five? Because hold on, this is uh, I can count back from this. Uh, hold on, how old is wait, she? Okay, no, it starts at it starts at sixteen. So we just take 16 off of 52. So we get... 36? 36 years? Yeah, hold on. How old is Andrew? You can just look in this file. Oh, I don't know. I aged my parents pretty young, actually. Oh, they're both, they're 39 and 40. Okay. So she's actually in a, in a really good age range for this. I actually thought she was younger. So she was like 8th by the time that he left. So yeah, like... so, so, so she would remember that. And remember him, and then they would they would know yeah. each other. Yeah, okay. So that's and, and I, I can I can see I can buy uh, recognizing a seventeen year old from a different eight year old. Yeah, I can buy that. No, I can, I can. Yeah, no, because if she was too young, that would be kind of unrealistic. But like for an eight year old has a personality. Because I got confused with uh, with the years here, because I thought four years meant that uh, Cassandra was four at the time. So that's why I was like, wait, if she was only four, then like, I'm not sure if she would recognize if he would recognize Alicia from yeah, that. Yeah, no. But no, if she was eight, then like, I I buy it. Yeah, no, I buy that. I definitely buy that. And especially since Cassandra was young enough to be like a like a good kid, but not old enough to be a brat that's like acting out like for attention, then like yeah, no, that was like the perfect age range to kind of gauge yeah, no, that's that. Right. Yeah, no, so that actually worked out really, really well. Okay. No, no wonder you're asking me all those fucking questions. I'm like, no, I feel like I'm brain dead. Also okay. you mock me. Because I, I told you that I forgot fucking RV's shoelaces and I just noticed he's on the front row. You can see his shoes at all the times. <laughs> It's just motivation. <laughs> you hate me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I didn't even think of that. Why do you hate me? No, because like it's mine and then yours and then mine I and know, yours. It wasn't intentional. I know, but you hate me. I'm so sorry. Why must you do this to me? I'm so sorry. Next time I'll put your characters first. <laughs> Damn it. So. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I was so reading Are you actually reading that? Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Because we only, you only have the first one on the little screen there. Do we? Yes, I think I asked this like seven times last time I I brought this up. We know what the wife died of, right? No. No, we didn't. No, I'm assuming it was a plane crash. Oh, okay. Because he doesn't like flying, and he has a scar on his face oh, from the that, thing. Oh, that's, that's right. That's what we're assuming. That's she right. hasn't we confirmed we, or denied it. We assumed it. something. Yes, okay. it's a plane crash. No, there was because I know there was something where like I asked something, and you're like, "Yeah, we know that." Like that was just said, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, I'm just an idiot, right?" Yeah, no, I I think that's it. She hasn't but confirmed I, or denied I thought, it. I thought it was this, but okay, no, that's yeah. fine. Though. I like how he tried being retired for five years and he got bored. Yeah. Um, we will definitely make you a YouTube account. Absolutely. Yes. Depending on when this is uploaded, I don't know if you want to do that first or before this stuff is uploaded. Because these are long videos and I don't want to lose our place. We'll probably just make a separate video giving you instructions on how to access the account. Yeah. Which, um, I guess if you do have the account and, uh, if you do have a way to comment... Please I do. I don't know if you do, but do comment on it and say, like, I've signed into the account. Yes. Or just anything, because if, if the account replies, like, we'll know that you have it. I don't think you can comment on the Roku. I don't think so. But if you no, can, then... but if you can, because then we'll just put the video, like, then we'll just take down the video. So, like, because we're going to have to, like, yeah. basically give you a riddle to figure out what the password is. Because we don't want anybody getting into your account. No. But, like, on the off chance that somebody, like, manage to, manages to piece it together, we, yeah. we'd much rather take down the video, like, once once you yeah. have it. So, uh, yeah. But we'd definitely get to arranging that. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, and then news. Okay, so you have changed natures and characteristics. Uh, I forget how you say her fucking name. Allie. Yeah. Uh, Bashful and takes plenty of siestas. That's fine. Uh, uh, Adno, uh, naughty and impetuous and silly, and I'll just kind of extend this. Claire, calm and very finicky. Desi, relaxed, alert to sounds. Um, Mio, careful and good perseverance. Aureus is modest and often lost in thought. Roxy is hardy and likes to thrash about. Willow is naive and mischievous. That's all fine. 
I like that. Uh, you're retiring Magnolia Branch. The her and her husband will be relevant in some ways. I'm thinking it'd be better to have a new teacher entirely for both environment and botany. And botany. Oh. Okay, so both are open? Maybe. Um, what about history? No, but again, like, we... This was assuming that, like, we needed to share, or we needed to share the Yeah, no, so her. I'll let her reply again. So, I'm, I'm giving her some space to, like, get a word in here. Yeah, no, because I don't, yeah, 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 that sounds, that sounds like a smarter idea to do that than anything yeah. else. Okay, and then at the bottom, as not news, but I think it would be cute if the Nip siblings called their big sister, <laughs> called their big sister Tally. Yes. That would be adorable. Yes. You got it. Yes. And that's it. That's perfectly fine. Oh my god. Alright, well... Okay. That was an hour and a half. Almost exactly. Okay, but, good. Uh, Much shorter than the other one because yeah. we had a ton of stuff to do and a ton of tie routes to go on. Yes. But, uh, I mean, I mean, it's important. Yeah, no, and I'm glad that we have all these things because, like, it's just important to be as communicative as possible and, and making sure that we're all on the same page all the time. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry I, I giggled at relaxed and alert to sounds because that's the exact combination I picked for a uh, Seeking Luminescence Essence character, so I was just amused by that. Yes. They would be besties, clearly. Um, so, yeah, that's about that. And then uh, we'll be getting to uploading these at some point, and then uh, we'll be going from there. Um, yay. Yeah, I keep sending questions if you have Yes, them. we love these. And and we'll we'll send more questions about your OCs as we think of them. Um, because, yeah. I would like um, um, some some background on your... On your uh, um, Teachers? Teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I That's was going to say that. Some background on your teachers. Because I'll send... I'll make videos of my teachers, too. Because, like, I, I feel like I and maybe should I do that. And I suppose I will also once I have a... Uh... Once the kids are done. Once the kids are done, we'll move on to <sighs> teachers. Yeah. Sorry, my glasses have, like, shit in them. At least two of them have art right now. Uh, yeah, Celian and, uh... Oh, no, that's uh, three of them, then. Celian, Li Lillian, and, um... Soul has art? No. I have one teacher, and I have one teacher that has art. Oh, I thought you were matching my characters. No. Oh. I just... Yeah. No, I, I, I talked in a collective uh, we there. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mi Miu has art, obviously. Yes. Love her. Well, I mean, it's not so obvious, because I only drew it, like, last year. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, we can do videos on teachers. That's fine. Um, I'm assuming teachers would include Saito. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think because you talked about her in one of the video one of these many videos I think at one point. Yeah, but uh, I should I should do a proper. It's not proper one. introduction. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for the record, uh, I suppose we might as well talk about this now. Um, I discussed about this. Uh, or I discussed this with you earlier because I'm like, should Booster have more teachers? Yes, yay or nay, and we and well we determined the answer was no and the reason for that is that uh uh it, it's it's it likes to be uh booster likes to be a very small and, and personal school again it's limited in in its number of uh students and uh it's uh teaching body is also very limited what we could do yeah we could do is we could have a second teacher that teaches core subjects, and then we have the battling class. Yeah, we could do that. But I, either I would do that, or I would hand that off to you because I think it's easiest to coordinate it with you. Yes, I would say that would be me though. So, so you wouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah, because like again, like I, at least, I think had a. I think I at least have a species that we could use for a second teacher but yeah i think i think that'll be your because i wanted to make another teacher yeah because you don't get to make a teacher, teacher here. yeah and i was kind of disappointed by that but like it's my fair share and i'm not retiring Cillian or soul or or obviously no. aaron or lillian no so yeah i think that's I like, if Plot didn't good. reassign Ryuna a class, I would have probably get, made Lillian not a teacher and just made another teacher. But that didn't work out. And I'm not disappointed. I like Lillian. I want her to be a teacher. Not disappointed. But now I don't get to make one, so. Yeah. But yeah, uh, we might have one other booster teacher, but that's, uh, 
that's basically it. Because, uh, just, just because of the way that the school works, uh, there is, uh, maybe, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend like my nose is, uh, bleeding, and, and like, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about here, but, uh, what? Looking at me weirdly. Okay. Well, why is your nose bleeding? I, no, I don't know. That's like, that's like a saying here, I Oh, guess. okay. Like, it just means acting like you don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. Like, oblivious? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's, like you know damn well what's going on, but yeah. you, you act like you know nothing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I guess there's a di- there's a different reason for that. Yeah. A wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yes. We don't have to talk about it. Yeah. But yeah, uh, there's, they wouldn't have more than... Two. Two teachers. Max. Yeah. Maybe three, cause... maybe. But that's, that's it. I mean, I, I guess they, uh... They enjoy having a low number of employees at Booster. It's personable, you know. Yeah. But no, I, I think I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be cool. So yes. I'll do that because I know that you had mentioned at one point that that, that you wanted uh, Booster teachers. But again, it's just it, it would probably be easier if I would do it, and you guys get to make teachers, and I don't. So, so this is my revenge. No. <laughs> yes, clearly. All right, but I think that's uh everything that we. Needed to say here. Uh, I guess these were our Saturday videos. Yes, uh, I'm really excited. Right. I'm happy we did these. I always love hearing from you because, like, it just, it just makes my night. And then, like, you know, yes. we get to have a bunch of videos that we get to do, and we get to like communicate. She got with emotional because like, she heard your voice. I fucking love hearing your voice. You got the cutest fucking voice. And plot thinks so too. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like him with the okay hand on your voice, and then um in in our in the purple squad we were also talking, and he was like, "Oh, I missed her voice. It's so cute." I'm like, "Her voice is really fucking cute." Yes. And meanwhile, I just sound like this. <laughs> okay, that's enough out of you. Okay, but no, I loved hearing your voice. That was very nice. That was, that was very fun. I like that a lot. Uh, maybe with a YouTube channel, she could upload videos too. Maybe with like the tablet if it connects. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if that would work. Maybe. That's something that should have to try. Yeah. But that means that we have to make yeah. that. Uh, we got to make that channel. We're channel gonna first. we're gonna do that this weekend. We're absolutely yeah, gonna do that. If, absolutely, if, we'll, absolutely. If, we're, if we're gonna do that, we'll do it at, uh, tomorrow at the earliest. Yes. Because it is currently almost midnight. It's so almost midnight. We're not gonna do no. anything else. I need to draw because I promised Plot that I would be drawing for like half a week now, oh, and shit. I need to go do that. Yeah, you need to go do that. Okay, and we're gonna stop here because we're doing a thing together. So yes. The collab. Yes. We'll share that off on the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so that's that. All right. So, uh... So, uh, bye! See you later.